Hi everyone, it's Lauren J. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. I like to do get ready with me style videos using products that are new, new to me or just need a little bit more love in my collection. Today I'm going to be using a bunch of products that need more love in my collection and I'll talk a little bit about why I'm a little bit annoyed with the makeup cycle. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Okay, so I have done skincare, sunscreen, I have done my brows. So let's get into primer for the face. This is the e.l.f. Runs on Dunkin' Donut Forget Primer. And I'm hoping to use this one up by the end of the year. I've already used up one other e.l.f special edition or limited edition putty primer this year so I think I'm doing pretty well I do have many many more that I need to use but luckily I really enjoy this primer and this one is a little bit glowy and it smells fun and I've been liking it lately My skin has been going through a journey. It's been incredibly dry and eczema has been flaring and the weather and my body and just all kinds of things have been just topsy-turvy lately. So today actually, it looks actually really nice. Usually these parts are really red and I've got some dryness along my eyebrows, but today it seems to be getting better. So hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> but I have been doing a little bit lighter makeup as I have been doing all summer and mostly spring. I like to also do lighter makeup when my skin just looks really nice. Um, I'm using the Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in Sunkissed Full Pump. And I just concentrate that on some of the high points on my face and a little bit under the eyes because this isn't like a super highlighty, sparkly. It's just nice. That beautiful Chanel skincare scent. This gives me a little bit of extra something when I want my skin to glow. And since I'm going to be using a sheer base product, this is going to help. So I have used this so much since I bought it, I really, really enjoy it. So I wanted to talk about buying things. <laughs> So one of the things that really frustrates me about makeup YouTube, specifically I think luxury makeup YouTube, is that um, I'm using the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick in Nude Rose as my eyeshadow base. And this isn't on any particular YouTuber in general, it's just, you know, what comes up in my feed from not just who I'm subscribed to, but also what YouTube recommends me is we kind of, I kind of felt for a while like there wasn't a whole lot of new, new, like this summer, but there's all this news about new makeup coming this in the summer. And then, so you're kind of waiting for August and September to hit, but then everything starts showing up really early in Europe. I'm talking about like the Chanel releases. They've already got those oversized highlighters. They've already got the Byzance collection. We have no idea when the fall collection is going to hit. Um, so I've got sort of all these plans to just spend all this money on Chanel and sort of just invest or I don't know, just spend my money on that. Not really invest makeup but but then sort of all these you're sort of just I'm sort of just in this holding pattern waiting for all this stuff to drop and then sort of all these other collections that they've said have gonna are gonna come out like still haven't seen the Bobbi Brown uh, Moonstone Glow collection show up in the US um, the Shantakai collection is kind of coming out here and there I saw it 
on Saks the other day and um, the Givenchy Fall release. They've released the blushes, um, but you can't find the lip balms anywhere but on the Givenchy site. Um, Berlin came out super early on their site and it's kind of coming out now. It's mostly, I think, available on all of the higher-end Nordstrom, Saks, Neiman's, Bergdorf's. It's just been really hard to plan and I just, I love to shop. I love to buy things. So it's like, look, first world problems. This isn't a real problem. It's just kind of my frustration with luxury makeup and luxury YouTube right now. There's just sort of all these things that people are telling you are so great. And you're like, oh, I should get that. But I want to save up for, you know, the stuff that I actually want. But then I don't know when it's dropping, so I might miss it. And then I'll never get it because Chanel's selling out really fast. These are all the things that are going through my mind right now. Anyway, I'm going to be using a look. This is a look that I did yesterday. This is the Victoria Beckham Satin Cajal Liner in Cherry Blossom. So I'm continuing with using these um, summer liners that I got. Uh, I got the full pack earlier this year. And I'm just going to line the, the eyes with this pretty thickly. And I wouldn't say this is super I mean this is pink but it leans more lavender pink than like bright neon pink that's still a really pretty shade but it's not like pink 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 like it's not Barbie pink But anyway, continuing my random train of thought, while I'm waiting for all these things from Chanel to release and making my list and watching other releases kind of come out in drips and drabs and adding things to cart and then not checking out and then adding things to cart and then not checking out. Uh, all of these other new eyeshadows keep getting released and eyeshadow is kind of my kryptonite. Well, like the clay de Poe. $100 quads just came out. The uh, YSL $68 quads just came out. The Prada $80 quads just came out. But they're all refillable. Well, not the YSL, but the, the, the Clay de Poe and the Prada are refillable, and that's really great. And, you know, it's just week after week after week, I keep seeing all these things come up in my feed about, here's the new quad. Here, It's really great, wonderful formula. You should go out and get it. And not everybody says you should run out and get it, but they, they say it's like, it's a buy it now if you want it, you know? You know, it, it's all just the same cycle over and over and over again. And everyone rushes out to get the brand new thing and get like three of them, if not the whole set. It's over and over and over again. And it's like, oh, yes, the new eyeshadow quad. This is a really great formula. I love the way it looks on my eyes. And then the next week, oh, this is a really great formula. I love the way it looks on my eyes. It's not for everybody, but I love the way it looks on me. And I'll be probably buying the whole collection. And it's just like... There's going to be one next week, I'm sure. And as someone who just likes to shop, I, I want to I want to join in on it. And I haven't been. And so I feel good about that, but also just like kind of frustrated about it. <laughs> so I'm just kind of annoyed at the cycle of makeup YouTube right now, just because it's just like, go out and get the new thing. This is the Editorial Brights. I have taken some of the shades out, but this is the like, magenta one here so i'm just gonna tap over that just to make it a little bit brighter and set it a little bit because as you can see this is already transferred because these everybody tells me these set down really well but i haven't noticed that they do they're very blendable that I've noticed whether you're on indie makeup YouTube or whether you're on Sephora makeup YouTube or whether you're on luxury makeup YouTube there's just the cycle just like there's kind of these low times where everybody's complaining about there's no new makeup being released and then everything gets released and everybody runs out to get it all at the same time and there's no kind of moderation and it's a little bit frustrating. This is the Viseart 
uh, Koi palette in the new packaging. This is not the Koi-ish one that they, the A Tondu they just released, but this is the, the one they released for the summer in the smaller packaging. And I actually redid it, and I've seen a couple people on Instagram and YouTube redo their uh, Koi palette just so it's more of like a spectrum and it's not sort of just all over the place. I'll put it down below. It's, it's on the back, but I'm just going to put that over the top here. It's kind of this um, yellow to orange to green. And I really like the way that it looks with this pink shadow. And again, I'm not complaining about any specific YouTuber, just about the cycle of YouTube in general and just the way that creators are like, well, I have to go out and get the new thing. Otherwise, you know, I can't have my affiliate links and I can't, you know, make money and then I can't keep doing this channel. And I'm over here like I've been doing this channel since 2014. I just do it because it's a hobby and I like to do it and I like to try makeup and nobody's paying me for this. <laughs> so, um, whether you think that's sad or not, whatever. I just, I just enjoy doing it. I've done several different versions of my channel. I've done a lot of different things on my channel. Um, and, uh, I don't know. I just do what I like to do. And so it's, it just rings a little hollow to me when people are like, oh, well, if people aren't, if I'm not doing the latest thing, then, I shouldn't be doing YouTube because I can't make money off it and it's just like I don't know maybe you could just do it because you like to do it I don't know this is the the beige water fresh tint in medium light this is the little travel size and as you can see I bought this about a month ago and I am already I used two pumps of this to be fair it is not super high coverage And I'm not asking it to be, but I do need two pumps to cover most of my face. Now, there are all these really beautiful collections coming out. It's just that I have no idea when they're dropping. And I'm kind of trying to pick pieces here and there but I want to buy them you know when it makes sense to I don't want to buy things here and there because I don't I don't live close to a Nordstrom or a Saks or any of these places um, so everything has to get delivered and I you know just want to be mindful about how many packages I'm getting and how much you know stuff is just being delivered it's not just about the the it's not just about the shipping prices it's about you know trying to consolidate and be a little bit better about how and when I purchase things and I just don't feel like the need to rush out and you know the new Chantecai lipstick which is $52 um for really sheer lipstick I I kind of want to try it but you know that's the only thing I have in my cart and it's like okay but is there gonna be a sale is there gonna be something else dropped that I want do I really need another lip balmy lipstick I certainly don't I don't need anything new um, so yeah it's just watching a lot of new products drop and knowing that I don't need them still wanting them still wanting to spend money and um, again, none of this is an actual problem. It's just, it's just annoying. It's really annoying. And it's just how I'm feeling with makeup and luxury makeup right now. And I just wish that Chanel would just drop their stuff finally so I could just spend my money. I am about to go on vacation in September. I'm going to New York City with my sister. And I do plan on making some nice luxury purchases. 
not necessarily makeup, but if some of the new stuff drops and I don't buy it online and it's still available, I will pick it up. But the thing with like Chanel is like you never really know if it's going to sell out like all the all the luxury YouTubers that I watch when the Codes Color collection was announced are like, eh, I don't know, don't need it, maybe not. And then it just sold out like that. And I'm seeing the same people who said, eh, buy like three different sets. And I'm like, okay. You know, I bought one set. I bought one set of the Codes Color and that's literally all I need. You know, I don't, I don't need 10 mirrors and three, 10 sets of the same different brush and uh, 10 nail files or whatever it is. But you know, once I got them the products in hand, it was like, oh, maybe I could use another set of this or another color. But by that time, everything was sold out and I'm glad that I got what I did. Um, but when you see people saying that they're not interested in a product and then they go and buy 10 of them, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, it's your life, do what you want. It's not my business, but you did put it on your YouTube channel. So going into my Guerlain Undress Brown quad, I'm just taking the little sponge applicator in this light shade there, putting that under the eye and into the inner corner. Products will be listed down below because I'm way too distracted right now to remember to name them all. But I love makeup. I love doing things like this. I love playing with what I have. And to be fair, a lot of this stuff is new. Like this Guerlain Quad is new. The Le Beige uh, sure Glow, that's not new, but it's new to me. I just bought it recently, like I said, about a month ago. And so it's not like I'm not sitting here playing with new makeup or I'm not buying things, but, you know, it's it's hard when you watch a lot of YouTube, and I watch way too much YouTube, to not want to, like, join in on everything. And, um... But also to watch a lot of the will I buy it stuff and hear influencers complain about all the new releases or none of the new releases or the boring new releases and then just kind of go out and buy them anyway. I'm taking the Le Beige Light Pink. This is the Waterfresh Blush. I bought this last year and you can see how much I have loved this. It's almost gone. And I actually just break up the pigment on the back of my hand. This is the color. Just swipe that all over the cheeks. You can see how light it is, but it is very pretty. When I started using this, I was just applying it straight to the cheeks from the back of my hand with my finger. I've gotten a little better at using these blushes, so I feel comfortable using a brush now. Also because this one, it just is really, really light. It does drive down a little bit pinker, but it, it is very, very light. I did buy a bottle of the medium pink, no, the, the warm pink recently, which is very nice also. And that I have also been wearing this summer. And I'll start using that more once the light pink is gone. So yeah, sorry um, for complaining so much, but I just wanted to vent a little bit and, you know, just, um, again, I'm not talking about anyone specific. I love all the people that I'm subscribed to. I watch them for a reason. It's just, like I said, over and over and over again, the same things are coming up at the same time and every product is great and... You know, not necessarily that they're telling you you should run out and get it, but they're not not saying that. So, you know, this is the Noir Allure Mascara. I love this stuff. I know people hate this. They think it's like the worst product Chanel's ever released. I really like this. And since I'm not doing a darker color, obviously I've lined my lids with the, the pink, but 
uh, since I'm not doing a dark color on the top, I'm going to go in and sort of tight line under the lashes. Still not used to tight lining. I think it's so uncomfortable. I'm sure it would help if I remembered to do it before I put on mascara, but it's still really uncomfortable. I don't like putting things in my eyes or in my waterline anymore. Like I used to do it quite a bit, but I just don't like it anymore. We did put on the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Be Glow in Blossom Glow before all of this, so I'm going to finish up my lips with the About Face. This is in False Alarm, the Matte Fix Lip Pencil. These are my favorite lip pencils. They just dropped a whole nude line, again, with the new drops. I want every single one of them because they're all brownie and nudie and beautiful, and they have not dropped at Ulta yet, so yeah. As soon as those go live on Ulta, I am adding to cart. And then I'm going to go in and use my Hourglass Diffused Light Powder. I've been using this a lot more lately. I really like the way it looked over the Pat McGrath, so I've just been using it a little bit more. I don't necessarily need to use it over the Water Fresh, but I've been really sweaty lately, and this just kind of helps my face feel not so wet which because the water fresh is very hydrating, it doesn't really like dry down. Like the, the finish is beautiful, but there's not really a dry down. So yeah, that is that is the saga of me. I wanna buy everything, but then I know once I get all those, like it, it's fun to shop, like it's fun to get a package, it's fun to open things up, it's fun to have new things. And then, but then again, thinking about putting another eyeshadow quad on my shelf just gives me the most anxiety ever. <laughs> it makes me want to hyperventilate like a little bit. So yeah, not real problems, just how I'm feeling about luxury makeup right now. And um, I'm going to still keep watching it and uh, luxury makeup YouTube. I love the creators that I watch. I think they're amazing. I am just a little bit overloaded right now. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me use some makeup that I already have that isn't new new, but is, you know, some of it's kind of new to me, but some of it's mostly just tried and true things that I love and using what I have. I hope you got something out of this, maybe catharsis. I don't know. Maybe just listening to someone else complain about something you were thinking about. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Any of those would be welcome and all of them would be deeply, deeply appreciated. Yes, the air conditioning is going off. Again, everything will be listed down below that I use, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.